Okay, let's do some demos with a capacitor and some light bulbs. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so first of all, you could think of this capacitor as two parallel plates, even though this one is not, but it does the same thing. So what if you hook up a capacitor to battery? So here I have a battery. So current comes out and it, as it gets to this parallel plate, the it's actually negative charge, but let's think of it in positive charges. The positive charge is built up on this plate and that creates an electric field that actually pushes charges off that plate so you get negative charges over here and so you get an electric as the charge is built up on each side of the plate you get an electric field in there so then as I into as I add up the potentials around this loop the total potential has to be zero so here I have the EMF of the battery so it's a 1.5 volt battery whatever and then I have the potential drop across this because you're going in the same direction as electric field so it'd be a, a negative change of potential and then I'm going in the same direction as electric field across this resistor so it'd have another drop so I get this equation so the battery minus Q over C that's the voltage on the capacitor across the capacitor minus IR that's the voltage across the resistor equals zero so as Q builds up at first Q is zero so this term is zero so we have a high current in order for this to be zero as charge builds up then this gets term gets bigger, so the I gets smaller, so the current decreases. Eventually, this term will be equal to EMF, and there'll be no current. Okay, so let's set that system up. Let me show you one thing real quick. So important to remember, for DC circuits only, this is not true for AC, for DC circuits, when you first use a capacitor, and if it's uncharged, here's a capacitor, it's like not even there. It's just like a straight wire. As time gets really large, if I killed my capacitor, it acts like a sh like a sh open circuit. So T equals zero, short circuit. T equals infinity, open circuit. Okay. Let's do some experiments now. Okay, so here I have just, let's just start off. I have, these are just three batteries. Um, I used, here's a little trick for you. Stick a little magnet, a neodymium magnet on there, and you can connect the batteries together. Isn't that great? Okay, so here I have a, a single bulb. Let's just hook up a single bulb. So here I have, you see that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's cool. Okay, now what happens if I put a capacitor in there with it? This one is a, a one barred capacitor, so it actually has a very large capacitance. Um, most capacitors, you, you wanna look this one says 5.5 volts. So if you put more than 5.5 volts in there, bad things can happen, so don't do that. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure the double lines mean positive, so this is the positive side. Uh, there's a chance I could be wrong, but it's I'm at low voltages, so it doesn't really matter. So I wanna hook this side to the positive side. So I'm gonna hook this right here, and then I'm gonna hook this right here. And here we go. Okay, you'll notice that as the charge builds up on the capacitor, the current is decreasing, so the brightness of the bulb decreases also until it's almost zero. Now I'll turn it off. Now if I remove the battery and just connect right here, then I'll discharge the capacitor through the bulb and it'll light up. Again, now we have a, that same equation, there's no EMF. So now as the charge decreases, uh, then the current also decreases. You can always uh, discharge, if it's a small capacitor, don't do this with big ones. You can discharge it by just touching a wire to both ends and making sure that it's completely uncharged. That, that allows it to have a very low resistance to go through it. Okay, what happens if I take this capacitor? This is, I hate how it does this. 25,000 MFD, that's microfarads. Okay, so this is a very small, much smaller capacitor, even though the size of it's larger. And this one has a plus right there. Okay, so let's hook this one up and see what happens. Okay, ready? That was a lot quicker. So it, the combination of Resistance and capacitance, RC, is the time constant. And the smaller that is, the quicker things happen. Okay, so that's charge up, and then I can discharge it the same way. 
like that. Okay, but it's a much smaller capacitor, so it takes less charge, uh, wait, Q over C, yeah, less charge to get that same voltage across it. So that's that. Okay, let's do uh, the following. What happens if I put the capacitor in parallel with this? So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put, uh, let's use this wire. I'll just jam that. Oh, I don't want to use that one. Let's choose this wire. Good enough. Connect that there. And then I want to connect this here. I think I'm running out of wires. Let's see, so that goes there. That goes here. Okay, so those are in parallel, that's fine, I got it. So now I can just hook this right here. And here we go, you ready? Now watch carefully, can you see, yep. Okay, it, he didn't notice much, but it something did happen. And watch this one disconnect. Now it's slowly dying down because now I charge up the capacitor and then it discharges through there. But now I can turn back on. So it kind of makes it, it makes it steadies the whole thing out, which is kind of nice. Uh, actually, this effect looks a little bit better if I put in uh, two bulbs in parallel, in series. I'm gonna hook this in there. Jam it in there. Jam this in here. I made these specially short wires just for you. So we wouldn't have wires all over the place. Okay, now this goes here. Okay, that's not a very good connection. Okay, so now these two are in parallel with that. And I can hook this. So now it's going to take longer to charge up. Let's see if I can get this, get these two closer together. And see, it's getting a little bit brighter as time goes on. And then, okay, let's do another one, one more. Let's take, I don't think I had that discharged. Okay, so here I have, this is going to be great. This is, a, this is a physics problem, actually. I'm going to put this one in parallel with that. So what's going to happen to the brightness of the bulbs when I connect these two? So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this one here. Okay, it's actually, you see here we have a problem in that that's already charged. Let me discharge this really quickly. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect it and let's watch what happens to the brightness of these two bulbs. So you'll notice that one started off with no brightness and this one's very bright. That one's increasing in brightness until eventually they'll be the same brightness. So what's happening? This acts as a short. So when it's first hooked up, all the current goes through here and through that bulb. But as charge builds up on this, it starts acquiring a voltage, which gives this a voltage, and so now there's a current through this one. Eventually, this one's gonna act like an open circuit, like it's not even there, and they're the same brightness. Now, once I let go of this, that one's gonna stay on, and it'll discharge slowly. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I think that's enough capacitor experiments for now. Um, yep, yeah, I don't have anything else to say.